Okay, this is a project for a friend built a tank trailer. So today I got the Bruder Low Boy trailer with Dolly. Uh, now right now I've just got it hooked to the Q60 with a zip tie. If I keep this permanent, I'll get some kind of clevis hitch on there. Now with this trailer, you could run it either on the Dolly or you could put a fifth wheel on your truck. You can get the trailer for about 38 bucks and another 12 gets you the Dolly. Now I found a great place for all things Bruder. It's called Outback Toys. Just Google Outback Toys and it's easy to find. But we're gonna get this one out here and do a test. I wanna check turning radius and stuff like that. But so far, the little truck seems to pull it pretty good. Now this one's been modified. It's got a 20 amp ESC and it runs on a two cell light bulb. And something's up with that sound system. It'll hear it screeching. It's not supposed to do that. I just wanna see if I can turn it all the way around in the space of this driveway. That's pretty good. That's a little over half the drive. So that's turning radius of probably about two and a half feet. I still haven't brought it up to full throttle. The truck looks kind of small compared to that trailer. The trailer comes with built-in shocks that fit a Sherman really well. You try a full speed run up and down. Yeah, that thing runs along pretty good. Now the trailer itself doesn't have an active suspension, but the throttle, or the, excuse me, the axle holes are like slots, so it will, the, it will move up and down, so that way you can get a, an, a suspension appearance when you run over stuff, but it's not a true suspension. They just come up to a solid stop. <laughs> that screeching is driving me crazy. It's not supposed to do that. It's only supposed to do that when you go into reverse. There's my lipo uh, warning going off. Now I can see from here that the Sherman has vibrated over to the left a little bit. I have to come up with some kind of permanent tie down for it. Another thing about them is brand new. The plastic ramps are really slippery and an all plastic Sherman tank wouldn't climb it. I had to put a little tape on there to give it something to grip. So anyway, that's the Bruder Low Boy trailer, and I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna go with for my buddy. Because like I say, you could run it either way. He could have a truck with a fifth wheel on the rear, and he could either run it with that, or have a clevis hitch and, and run it with the uh, dolly. Now the tires on the trailer are not fully solid. They're, they're, they are hollow backed, but they do have kind of a lip that brings them up over the inside of the back, so they look good from either side and uh, they're just plastic tires, but they seem to work pretty well. I think they'll be just fine for what we're doing here. I might want to change the tires on the dollies and maybe uh, put some WPL truck tires on there. I'll have to take a look at that and see how difficult it would be and all that. But anyway, there's the, uh, that's the Bruder low boy trailer with dolly being pulled by the Q60 carrying an all-plastic hang-along Sherman with the 5.3 electronics. I think that's going to work out quite nicely. I think uh, the next step is going to be, <laughs> make it green, man, it's army, make it green. That truck does look kind of dwarfed by all that stuff, doesn't it? And this area in the front, that would be a great place for lightweight stowage. You don't want to add a lot of weight to it, but I'm thinking plastic crates and uh, uh, hollow fuel drums and some spare tires and whatnot would look really good up there. So there you go. Hope that helped. We'll see you next time.